Hi, I'm Cassie Anderson, the fashion director at Cosmopolitan Magazine, and this is how I styled Alex Earl. We are here in the Cosmopolitan fashion closet, and we're about to have a fashion run through for Alex Earl with our editor-in-chief. I'm a little bit nervous, but I feel pretty confident because the clothes speak for themselves. Wow. <gasps> Isn't it magical? Oh my God. This is so exciting. This is the best pull ever. Really? It was the best fashion. This is so good. It was perfect for Alex. This was made for her. Yeah. It's so Cassie. Good. It hit all the right notes. The highlights of spring, so movement, 3D. I'll take you from left to right. Yeah. Okay. So coming back from Paris, I saw a lot of texture and movement on the runway. The beach immediately came to mind for me just because we get a lot of movement on the beach. The wind is good, and I thought that the wind through the fringe and through all the textures would create a lot of movement and motion for us. Not full Coney <clears throat> Island. We're yeah. gonna go abstract, kind of like weird, That's not quite sus. surreal, but like, yeah, like really tight moment. This will really catch the wind here. Yeah. You see it's apparent and then it has all of this happening. Whoa. And then the bag that matches. So oh my God. I mean, there's just like a lot to play with. This is Tori, believe it or not. Did Which we just like, see that walk? Yes. Oh, yeah. No way. This just walked. So these are spring collections. We've had to really push all the brands to get a spring because, you know, they're in market, they're shooting their ad campaigns. This was tricky. Something that uh, people might not know is that when you see that collection come down the runway, that's the only one in existence in the entire world. We were shooting it so close after collections came down the runway. My main concern was actually getting the clothing. I want it just as badly as Vogue wants it or Elle wants it. Any influencer, any celebrity walking the red carpet, we're all fighting over that one sample, that one look. It can get a little cutthroat. It's so good. But this, this itself is a moment, but it goes over these little oh, bloomers yes. with the tank. Amazing. What you see coming down the runway isn't necessarily what you're gonna be wearing head to toe, but maybe you're inspired by it a little bit, or you see one thing that you wanna take from it. It's fantastic. Thanks, guys. I feel so loved. I'm on my game today. <laughs> Today we are shooting on Coney Island. I love being on the beach. We are super excited about uh, the movement that the wind is going to create and you know, blowing through some of the texture and the clothing. Alex Earl is a bit of an it girl. She's cool. She's trendy, but in an understated way. I knew that we weren't gonna be challenged too much with her. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good, I'm Cassie. Alex, Hi. how are you? Welcome. Hi. I'm the How fashion director. Do you want to look at fashion? Really? Okay, let's do it. Today is all about texture, and this is a spring collection story. So everything here just walked. Uh, this is Balmain, which I'm really excited about. This is Isn't this major? Oh my God. Like latex? I'm to touch it. No, it's so cool, <laughs> right? And the flowers. Oh. My so God. we love this. This is one of our That's favorite so pieces. Cool. I'm glad you like it. Beautiful paillette. It's a little sheer, so we'll do like. Little panty underneath it. This is also one of my favorites, Altazara. It's very okay, loving the texture, layered tool. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And then we have things to play with, like pieces of net. So, you know, when we're out on the beach, we'll get that wind. This Carolina is also so major when it's on. It really has shape. I was going to say, I like the shape of this one. Yeah, so it's like a nice waist and then it you know, peplums out. This uh, rotate look, which the back is like complete fringe. Wow. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, we can have a lot of fun with it. Exactly, this. lots of movement. Oh, We're gonna have the best day. <laughs> Perfect beach attire. Yeah, exactly. I mean, who doesn't go to the beach in latex, right? <laughs> the best thing that I liked about styling Alex was the level of trust that we had with each other. We had just met that morning. She loved everything that I was showing her. We just had this great dialogue back and forth at work. It was super organic. It was easy. But yeah. Like the barge, like the no. yeah. Oh, it's in my yeah. pocket. Like I got it. Thanks, Whitney. We'll be back, yeah, okay? Definitely. Sure. Uh, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's go. Are you okay? Do you want me to unzip a little bit from the back? I'm okay. 
the day started pretty overcast and moody and we kind of leaned into that a little bit. So we liked the moodiness of it and it was kind of like, you know, the start to the day, the weather itself told a story. It, the sun is supposed to come out around like two, three. Because then the, you know, the sun gradually started to come out as we were shooting more. And then I remember when we had bright blue sky, I think we, we were shooting the fringe leather jacket when the sun started coming out. RB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are really pretty. I didn't know that. Cool. All right, I think we're good here. Yeah, we have this. Okay, cool. Our photographer is Brendan Wickstead. We worked with him a couple times in the past now, and we absolutely love him. He captures the best moments. <laughs> she moved really well in the fashion she immediately started to play. She knew what to do. We didn't really have to direct her. And that was super helpful. And we got some real moments out of that. And she was graceful wearing the clothing also. So she knew that if there was fringe or, you know, just like a little bit of texture, she knew what to do with it and how to move to kind of capture that, help us capture that the shoot was about motion and texture. I feel like there's been a lot of shoots lately where I am hovered over a pile of clothes. Do you know how challenging it is to style in the sand like this? And the beach can be super unpredictable, especially in New York. Even though we didn't utilize Coney Island, it was still there. It created this fun atmosphere, I think, laid back. It's <laughs> so funny that she <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Wait, you kind of look like Gru from the Minions, right? Like the shape. <laughs> I also thought, you know, the beach would be a perfect place to get a lot of wind to create that movement with the fringe and the texture, and then also have the sunshine hit some of the sequins and create those flares and flashes that I thought would really make the clothes come alive. I'm gonna want wind like to catch these okay. when she's standing. Okay. Even though we're shooting on the beach, I didn't want to lean into beach. I wanted it to be a beautiful backdrop and still make it about spring summer collection. When we wrapped, we uh, all got on one of the roller coasters. Alex sat in front. I sat in the back and screamed the entire time. I thought it was my final moments here on earth. And um, then we all had a margarita on the boardwalk. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. I love Cosmo. The day went really smooth, I have to say. Um, this was one of the smoothest shoots I've ever worked on. The best part about styling Alex was that she was so agreeable. It was as if I was working with a professional model and she looked beautiful. So she trusted me and I trusted her.